yeah I just finished uh, almost finished remanufacturing my main engine these are the parts that are left but now I'm as uh, I'm slowly starting to rebuild my electrical system so I was thinking I should show a little bit about that this is now today my 12 voltage battery bank house bank it used to be in the machine room before when I bought the boat but then rather quickly I figured out that I had to move it out of the machine room because it was too hot so I moved it in the back here in the aft cabin on the starboard side and because I moved it about 10 meters from the distribution panel in the engine room I had to use lots of thick cables these are uh, 95 millimeter square millimeter double on plus and double on minus so there's actually four cables going uh, all the way into the in front to the machine room from here so these are uh, very good cables they are from uh, Schiller marks in Sweden or the company is called Sutars very very soft even if they are so thin, thick, soft and thin for marine usage. So uh, they should be okay. So okay, this is the 12 voltage bank. And in the other cabin, if we go out of this cabin and then I go around the corner, this is the port cabin. Below the bed here is exactly the same, same amount of batteries, but they are connected into a 24 battery bank, 24 voltage battery bank. And from here there are double 70 square millimeter cables going all the way to the same place in the machine room. So this is today's system. They go here. Before all the batteries were placed here, in a big box below the, this uh, uh, safety breaker uh, panel. This is actually covered. I, I'm just working with it now, that, was, that is why it looks quite messy, because I'm removing lots of cables now. But anyway, all the batteries were here, so instead of the batteries, I made this panel here. The right one is from the 12 voltage house bank and the and the left one is the 24. So from here, I just went with the cables as before, as it was the batteries that were there, and just into the to the distribution. And this is 12 voltage on off uh, for usage, service battery. This is 12 voltage starting. That is actually this battery underneath here, that is for starting the generator. And this is 24 voltage house bank on and off and plus and minus and this is the start 24 voltage for the caterpillar the main engine that is those two batteries over there so there are four battery banks two starting batteries and two hose bank batteries and this is gonna be much simpler because now I have for example this 24 voltage Victron Schilla E I've removed the cover because I'm just now removing it because I will use this this is just a 24 voltage charger so now this is charging the batteries the 24 voltage batteries so this will, this will be removed so those two cables here this cable and this cable will go away from this system no more 24 voltage charging in here I will use this uh, 24 voltage charger now for charging up my lithium cells that I will show you later in this video because they have to be top balanced so to first get them up to a level a certain level I will use this one I will connect the batteries 8 and 8 in 24 voltage groups and just quickly charge them up a bit with this one and from there I will do cells one by one to top balance them
So I'm just working with removing this one now. But I was thinking I make a movie because before I remove everything. So basically, now also this 12 voltage system. There are also double cables going up to a Victron Quattro. Also the cover is gone, but this is a Victron Quattro 12 voltage, 3000 kVi or or 3 kilowatt. So to here, also double plus and double minus. And uh, the generator in, I just removed today because there will, this this whole box will be removed there will be no more 12 voltage uh, bank in the boat so this will be removed and uh, this is the distribution panel for AC in the boat that will be there but it will be simpler because before the generator cable came from went in there it actually came from here it went in there around the machine room and to the generator that is here and it came out here but now I just removed that cable it will be replaced with another cable which I have already organized here the thick one here so then we can start talking about the new system the new system will be based on a Victron Quattro 24 voltage uh, 5 kilowatt that one is placed not in a machine room anymore but in the cab cabinet between the two cabins I turn on wide angle maybe you see better so it's here in the top of this cabinet so inside here I will now install most of the electronics so the first cable that is pulled is the cable for from the generator that will come in here it will go down underneath the floor here and into the machine room and just into the generator so that was a quite easy modification I just removed the only reason why I cannot reuse the old cable is because it's too short so before the old cable went to this box and now I just make another cable that goes to the box in the back so this is the Kabula heater starting so what is the plan the plan is to replace there will be zero batteries in this cabin no more 24 voltage gel or lead acid batteries here this will be empty or maybe I will keep some spare batteries or something here connected that into a 24 voltage bank, a small one that I can use as a backup or something, I don't know yet anyway it will not be used but in here I will replace these gel batteries with 32 lithium cells connected into a 24 voltage house bank and from here, this will in here there will be 20, these, all these cells in a system, and uh, also the REC BMS will be placed in this hole here. I have made a drawing how to do that, so we will look see later when I start the installation. First, I have to top balance all the cells before I can start moving everything. But I have managed to get what I need I hope I got all these uh, bus bars that came with the cells came with the cells also <laughs> uh, lots of details here I also buy some uh, some rods for maybe if I want to compress a little bit or put them in a box so I need uh, some uh, nuts at the ends this is just small stuff. I buy this to put on the Shilla E 24 voltage charger that I'm just removing now. And um, we'll move up in the saloon to do, do all the work with the balancing. So what will happen in here? 
I told you before basically this will be removed and this will be removed the blue and this will be changed we will see later how that will be changed I also buy lots of new uh, AC cable because there will be some changes also of the AC system it looks like a mess here because I'm dealing with the engine still up in the saloon here yesterday I got all my 32 cells ready for top balancing together with the ah, when I ordered the cells I got this test document with all the cells so the first thing I have to do now is to mark each each of them on this uh, barcode here it's a number that corresponds with this number and it says internal resistant and everything here so quite serious all are brand new grade a ev 280k k 6000 cycles or something they say so i'm just making ready here with my uh, rec bms with this uh, actuator or what it's called to break when uh, the charging when one cell is too high or whatever temperature is too high i made this ready brand new from amazon so there's a lot of work ahead to get all these fully charged and top balanced so that's the plan so i can just show you more stuff that i have ordered because you have to think these are some crimps from amazon lots of this stuff from amazon yeah i also buy some uh, uh, this is a pair of pliers for crimping these uh, what do they, do they call them uh, ferrule pin and terminal and you need uh, this tool to crimp them and then I also buy uh, some uh, uh, bus bars, extra bus bars. Yeah, also here some extra. This is a 16 millimeter square. Yeah, I'll show you later. Yeah, these bus bars. I don't know if they are better than the others, but I need more bus bars to balance the, the system. These are, looks quite the same, much the same, but they are uh, crimped a little bit more good looking. They fit, that's good. Yes, so what more yeah i have this new balmar dynamo alternator heavy duty 24 voltage also lots of this uh, cable i don't didn't get enough but uh, i can start mounting now and then uh, if i get too little i can leave it at there must be double 95 all over the place long stretches so this is very very soft and real and thin very very good uh, this is the 24 voltage uh, alternator for the engine this is just going to charge the two starter batteries for the main engine that's the only task for that one this will take care of the house bank the lithium bank and together with that one i have uh, Oh, this is the wrong cabin actually <laughs> I have a new regulator this uh, wake speed VS 500 that is the regulator for the Balmar alternator with cable harness and everything complete this one actually talks with the Victron Quattro box 
the same do is the rec pms also doing so that's why i choose all these things because they are talking to each other so i also have two battery monitors i don't need them but i need the shunt at least maybe one maybe two i don't know maybe i i install this one because this is also bluetooth even if there's lots of bluetooth also other places because i have the I have this one here, the Serbo GX, which connects everything together, also Bluetooth, and you can connect uh, a touch screen display. I don't, I didn't do that yet. Maybe I do that later. First, I will see how it looks on the phone. To manage the 12 volt system on board, I have this. So I'm gambling that this will work. It will translate. It will uh, transform the 24 voltage down to 12 voltage and you can set exactly if you want to have like 13.5 volt out into the system constant so it's very good and this is uh, 30 ampere should be strong enough to run what I have uh, for this one I of course need some 16 millimeter square cable I have some on and off some some uh, makers here. I have some some kind of plan, yeah, and lots of cables for these boxes here. So and more is coming. This I ordered from the from Amazon. This is very nice. It's uh, this is meant for the BMS. They are all kinds of colors. Uh, soft uh, silicon wire very very soft and this is uh, what you call it in uh, the US 18 gauge silicon wire so that's good stuff so that's for now that's the starting of this project so now I will just remove that the 24 voltage charger and bring it up here and uh, start connecting 8 and 8 into 24 voltage banks and uh, I will set the dip switches on this charger so that it, they will not it will not overcharge but I will also connect the BMS every time I charge 8 and 8 that will be four times so that the BMS will take care so that I not don't overcharge any of the cells. So when it comes to top balancing, there are lots of lots of YouTube movies out there. So I don't do that on this movie. This is basically just to show how I change my system in my boat from lead acid or gel in, into uh, uh, lithium cells. So basically I have to change a lot, but I think it will be okay when it's finished. Yeah, that's for now.